congratulations on your new job. Thank you. Uh, one of your predecessors there is now in this building. Yeah. I asked him if it's odd. How is it? How does that dynamic work for you for these? Next couple weeks. It's been fine. It's been great, to be honest with you. Uh, I was fortunate enough to be able to build a relationship with Greg during my two years here. He's had a great relationship with Coach Meyer. He's been around here several times. I picked up the phone and called him on a lot of things, and uh, he's been a great resource for me. Uh, I think it'll work out great here having him on staff. And, uh, you know, up from an outsider looking in, having Greg and I standing here together, uh, me going out to, to, to go to Rutgers and him coming in to take my uh, job here at uh, Ohio State it looks uh, odd and looks a little um, challenging, but it's been fine. You, how much right now as you prepare for a bowl game here and to hire a staff and everything that goes along with Rutgers, how do you divide up your time and manage that? And, and are you spending any time asking Coach Giano for some of that advice now? Uh, all, all of the above I'm doing, yes. Uh, you know, I get here early in the morning. Uh, I return phone calls, emails, take notes on some things that I need to try to get done in the next day or two. Uh, when we take a break from game planning over the noon hour, I, again, I make calls, return emails. Uh, I do things that I need to get done. And then uh, when we're done during the, uh, at the end of the day, uh, I'm here late and I go home and I, I just uh, continue to do work. Uh, so the balance and the time management of getting stuff done here for game planning and the preparation for the bowl game and then doing the things that I need to do, both talking to coaches that I'm trying to hire, talking to recruits that we're trying to recruit, commits that we're trying to keep committed, uh, all of that stuff uh, is managed throughout the day. And it's, it's, uh, it's a challenge, but it's fun. I, I've really enjoyed it. And then, uh, like you mentioned, I've had a chance to sit down with Greg a couple times and just uh, talk about Rutgers and uh, his experience there. And, uh, he's been uh, very helpful. Right, right, right. Kim? Yeah, Chris, you, you've talked about this before, but uh, you know, we were Urban reiterated again today that Luke Fickle is a defensive coordinator, and uh, uh, how did that work out with you guys and stuff? Were you surprised by the way it worked out, and how do you think he will mesh with Greg Schiano? Well, I'm not surprised by the way it worked out. Uh, when I came here, there was a uh, really crystal clear uh, directive from how the head coach wanted it to, to look and what he wanted us to do. And um, Luke and I were both professionals and understood that uh, if we were going to have success here and be able to uh, reach our professional goals and have uh, success with, with these players here at Ohio State, that we had a job to do. And we had no hidden agendas except to uh, come together and, and uh, work for a common goal. And, and that's what we were able to do. I don't anticipate anticipate that being any different with Greg and, and Luke working together. What do you think Greg will bring to the table? You've known you've known of him for a while and stuff. What what he kind of has your same mentality, attack, you know, et cetera. What what do you think he will bring to the table? Well, Luke's, or, uh, uh, Greg is a very intelligent uh, football coach and very, very intelligent person. Uh, he's going to come in and he's going to look at what we've been doing and fit in and try to find ways that he can potentially enhance it and make it better, uh, whether it be some fundamentals, some techniques, maybe a change-up call or two. Uh, he's had uh, various uh, different experiences both in the NFL and at the college level. Uh, he has a, uh, maybe a different way to look at things or call things differently. Uh, but what he's going to do, we've played very well on defense here. He's going to come in and try to fit in and, and and just find ways he can make it better. And one other thing, uh, is it getting a head coaching job? Obviously, Tom Herman got the Houston job, but that's way down there. They're yeah. in another league. You're in. You're not only in the Big Ten, but you're in the Big Ten East. <laughs> yeah. How awkward. Thanks is for that? Re reminding me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, you know, it's it's uh, honestly it. It's been a very seamless transition right now. Uh, it's been great. Coach Meyer has been great. Uh, even though that we are going to be uh, competitors on the field uh, down the road, right now we're, we're uh, still a staff together trying to make sure we finish this thing out the right way. Uh, again, it, it doesn't feel really any different right now because this week I've been here. Uh, when I leave here, you know, it might feel different. But right now it's been pretty easy to manage. Two phones in your pocket at all times? <laughs> no, just one right now. Uh, second row middle, Ari. Coach, you just mentioned that um, you guys are all one staff together, you know, preparing to win a game. But when you go home at night and you make those recruiting calls, there are times where you're recruiting guys at Ohio State once, so you're an opponent. What's that been like? Is it uh, interesting to just be on the other side of the equation right now while also working at the other place? Well, yeah. I mean, I got to take one hat off and put another one on. That's that's really what you have to do. And uh, but for for me, I'm not. Uh, going to try to recruit kids that are committed to Ohio State. Uh, uh, that's just not professional, and, and I'm not going to do that. Are there some kids out there that maybe have had some interest uh, uh, from Ohio State and interest from Rutgers that uh, I would actively call? Yeah, I would, but uh, it's professional courtesy for me not to try to contact anybody that would be committed to Ohio State. I'm just not going to do that. And last set of questions, Doug, on the left. 
Chris, when uh, I think the first time we talked to you, when you got here, you sort of talked about that you had a desire to be a head coach. Um, how did the plan work? Huh. So far, so good. <laughs> you know, I've been here for two years. Um, if I sat back and reflected on the time that I came to Ohio State and I listed the things that I, I would hope to accomplish what, during my time here, I can tell you I, I've hit every one of them. You know, I came here, I, I learned a lot under Coach Meyer on how he does business, how he runs his program, how to develop players, how to develop leadership, build chemistry. Um, we were able to win a Big Ten championship. We won a national championship. And at the end of the day, I've, I've been fortunate enough to be rewarded with uh, getting a head coaching job. So all of the things that I hoped to accomplish by coming here, I've been able to do it. Uh, uh, why? You know, I've been surrounded by some really good people and some really good players that have allowed that to happen. And I guess a question about the team before we have to head off. Um, how do you think this defense played this year? Obviously, there's one more game yet to be played. The team as a whole didn't quite reach the same level of making the playoff, but I think your defensive numbers are even better. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I'm very happy with the way we played this year. Um, could we have played even better at times? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, as a coach, I don't think you're re ever really truly satisfied. You probably never want to say that you've reached your full potential. Uh, I think we've played extremely well at times. And there's some times, especially earlier in the season, we probably uh, would have liked to play a little bit better. But uh, when you look at the stats, uh, they tell a, a pretty good story. And I think we've played pretty well this year.